You are watching this video because you are going to crack NEET 2023 and if you agree comment yes I will in the comment section. In this video I have explained NEET 2023 complete strategy from top to bottom and I got hell lots of comments from you guys for this video and the most awaited video is finally here. Before looking at the schedule, let me give you an overview of it. This is a 200 day schedule. I have explained how you need to utilize these 200 days effectively. Ok fine. We have divided NEET syllabus into 10 parts. First 5 parts will cover all the chapters of class 11. And last 5 parts will cover all the chapters of class 12. And in this schedule you have 10 unit tests, 4 grand tests, 3 half question tests and 1 full question test. Apart from these tests, you have 102 assessment tests and this is nothing but the daily test. I will explain how to write all these tests in later part of this video. So no need to worry about it. So let's quickly dive into this schedule. And here is the most awaited NEED 2023 ultimate schedule. Here you can see 4 columns. First column is the day, second column you can see the date. Third column is the test name and last column is about the portions you need to cover for that respective day. Fine. And what you see here is the part 1 syllabus. Every day you need to study few portions of all the 3 subjects and I have mentioned how many days you need to spend to complete one chapter based on its difficulty. For example, I have given 2 days for living world and biological classification, 3 days for plant and animal kingdom in biology. 4 days for basic concepts of chemistry and 3 days for atomic structure and for periodic classification. And in case of physics, 2 days for units and dimensions, 4 days for motion in a straight line and also 4 days for motion in a plane. So the number of days to study each chapter will vary based on its difficulty and importance. I hope you understood this tableau column. Fine. Ok, in the first day you will start to study living world in biology, basic concepts of chemistry and units and dimension in case of physics and you will write assessment test on that day for these chapters like this you will write assessment test on every day for that respective chapters for that day now let us assume you are in the end of 10th day by this time you must have completed all these chapters and have written all the 10 assessment tests okay after that you will get two days for revision in these two days you need to revise those topics once again and if you have left any topic from any chapter you can complete those topics in these two days. So you no need to panic or worry if you can't able to complete these chapters in that specified time. You can always utilize these two days ok and only after these two days you will write a unit test one for these portions ok you got it yes. Once you have completed your unit test 1 on day 13, now you will move on to next part that is part 2 syllabus. Like first part, here also I have specified how many days you need to spend to cover each chapter. Okay, So you will start studying these chapters from day 14 to day 23. Again you will get 2 days for revision. Then you will write unit test 2 on day 26. Now once you have completed unit test 1 and unit test 2, before going to next part you will get 5 days to revise these parts once again and after 5 days you will write a grand test 1 for this part 1 and part 2 portion on day 32. Only after grand test 1 we are now moving on to next part that is part 3. From day 33 to day 42 you will study part 3 syllabus followed by 2 days revision and you will write unit test 3 on day 45 and from day 46 to day 55 you will study part 4 syllabus and 2 days revision and unit test 4 on day 58 and before going to 5th part you will get 5 days gap to revise part 3 and part 4 syllabus once again and on 64th day you will write grand test 2. After grand test 2 moving on to next part that is part 5 followed by 2 days revision and you will write unit test 5 on day 79. By the end of 79th day you must have completed first 5 parts which means you have completed class 11 portions completely. 
now it's a time to prepare for half portion test so for half portion test you will get 10 days for revision you need to utilize these 10 days effectively and you need to revise all the portions of class 11 and finally you will write a half portion test on day 90 so it means for the first 90 days that is around three months you will focus on class 11 portions i hope you understood till now if you have any doubt you can comment below or you can message me on my instagram account link in description now we are moving on to class 12 portions okay from day 91 to 100 you will study part 6 syllabus and you will write unit test 6 on day 103 after two days revision and from day 104 to day 113 you will study part 7 syllabus and two days revision and unit test 7 on day 116 as you expected you will get five days revision to revise part 6 and part 7 syllabus and you will write grand test 3 on day 122 okay now there is little twist in the schedule so please pay attention fine from day 123 to day 132 you will study part 8 syllabus and on day 135 you will write unit test 8 yes here is the twist now before going to part 9 you need to revise class 11 portions once again but uh, why because if you remember we have completed half portion test for class 11 on day 90 now we are on the day 135 almost we have crossed 45 days so it is sure that you must have forgotten most of the class 11 portions so what you need to do is to boost up those parts here i have given you 10 days to revise class 11 parts once again this is very very important because if you revise class 11 portions after completing class 12 portions you feel like you are starting class 11 portions like a fresh start i don't want this to happen to you so i gave 10 days again to freshen up those topics but most of the institutes fail to do this but i don't miss it i want you to achieve your dream yes definitely you are going to achieve it yes now coming back to schedule from day 147 to 156 part 9 syllabus and unit test 9 on day 159 and you will write unit test 10 on day 172 for part 10 syllabus and you will get 5 days to revise part 9 and part 10 syllabus and you will write grand test 4 on day 178 now it is the time to revise for half portion test now you will get 10 days to revise for class 12 portion and you will write a half portion test 3 on day 189 and finally we reached end of the schedule after half portion test you will get 10 days to revise full portion and on the last day that is on day 200 you will write one full portion test and this is the complete schedule for me 2023 once you have completed the full test based on the exam date i will make another schedule for mock test series as a summary first you will write unit test 1 for part 1 syllabus followed by unit test 2 after two unit tests you will write grand test 1 same like this you will write unit test 3 and unit test 4 and again grand test 2 for part 3 and 4 syllabus next unit test 5 for part 5 syllabus after completing all the five unit tests you will write a half portion test one for class 11 portions now we will move on to class 12 part first you will write unit test 6 and 7 followed by grand test 3 for part 6 and 7 syllabus next you will write unit test 8 again you will write half portion test 2 for class 11 portions once again after that you will write unit test 9 and 10 and followed by grand test 4 for part 9 and 10 syllabus and you will write half portion test 3 for class 12 portion and finally full portion test on day 200 fine now how you need to write all these tests the answer is you have two options one is offline free and another is online paid one first one in this case you need a question bank and a timer you need to manually pick questions from your question bank set a timer and start solving questions after completion of the test you need to manually check your answers from your question bank and you need to calculate your score if you choose this option you need to follow all these steps which is really really time consuming in the second case you can attend our need 2023 ultimate test series we are connecting all these 120 tests in our need master app the highlights are no need of worrying about finding good question paper because we are providing conceptual and highly probable question for need. 
we provide all india rank list and scorecard so it gives you a competitive feeling you can better understand how others are preparing and how much hard work you need to put extra to get better rank and this is very very important while preparing for any competitive exam and you don't need to waste time calculating your marks and our app automatically will do that for you and you can also chat with me as well as with other neat aspirant from all over the india so you can able to study in groups and you can share your strategies etc if you join these kind of test series in any fancy institute they will charge you multiple thousands of rupees but we are not going to do that our motto is to provide high quality test series for an affordable price so that each and every student will get benefited and achieve their dream so for all these 120 tests we are charging only 1499 rupees wait wait and if you buy this ultimate test series within today you can buy this test series for 999 only so don't miss this opportunity make use of our efforts and get benefited if you are interested to buy our test series then download our app neat master i have given a link in description and launch it here you need to click store button here you can find our ultimate test series for NEET 2023 select that and at the bottom click purchase option and complete your payment through any mode of payment and this is the procedure to buy i hope you like this video and i spent many weeks to make this amazing video for you so please hit the like button and share this video to your friend and give your support by clicking the subscribe button and thank you for watching my video till the end and see you in next video